Scamander X. Scamander examples again with another answer what bench tutorial where we're going to analyze the play and trust system. Here we have our trust system and the figure shows the specification and the loading condition of what we are going to work with. Let's determine the trust deflections at each joint under the specific loading conditions. So let's jump over to ANSYS Workbench and get this done. Now that ANSYS Workbench is fully loaded and ready for us to begin our simulation, we're going to navigate to Toolbox, Analyze Systems, then go down to Static Structure, use your left mouse button for Static Structure, and drag and drop it into our project schematic. Now let's double click on Engineering Data, and here we're going to add our material, so click in this empty cell here, and let's enter Douglas 4. Okay, now make sure Douglas 4 is selected and where we have linear elastic, we're going to add an isotrop with elasticity. So double click on that. And for our young modulus, we're going to enter 1.31 and that will be e to the 10. And for the poison ratio, that will be 0 0.29. And our material is now set. So let's close engineering data. Now let's go to tools, options. Let's go down to geometry import. And we're just going to make sure our preferred geometry editor is set to space clean direct modeler. That is what we're going to use to create our geometry so there's the option of design modeler and space clean direct modeler so we'll go with space clean and then hit ok normally i have my property bar on so if we go to view i'm going to take it off and if i click on geometry you will not see it therefore you can right click and hit properties or we can go here and turn on properties so if it's off you can even right click here and hit properties and now it's on so if you hit, hit any one of these it will automatically show the property here so let's click on geometry and we're going to make some changes to our geometry so line bodies we want to select line bodies with that we, we would be able to create our truss model. Let's begin our geometry. So let's double click on geometry here and this will open space claim and we will go ahead and create the, the truss. Space claim is now ready for us. Let's go to File and let's hit Space Claim Options. We're going to customize our units. Let's go to Units and we're going to change the length from millimeters to meters. And we're also going to change the minor grid spacing to one meter and th that those are the two changes and let's click OK. Let's now navigate to our plan view and let's click on Y here we can also come to views and we can actually change our orientation here as well. So if 
we didn't click Y here, we could have just come here and click bottom. Or control plus three on your keyboard. Let's now navigate to design and let's select sketch mode. And now that we are in our sketch mode, let's come back to views and let's select bottom. Double click on that. Now let's draw our lines to create our trust. Firstly, put your mouse over the center of origin and pull your mouse button to you a little bit. And we are going to structure. So let's move, go back from views to structures. And let's click on line. And for the line, we already set up our grid to be one meter. So, and you can see here, snap the grid is on. So if I take my mouse over this, and click here to here, that will be one. But remember, each point of our truss is one meter. So let's start two grids out. So click here, and then click and zoom by pulling the mouse button to you after you click you get a better zoom and then you click here that's one click here that two that's two push the mouse away from you the that's the center of the mouse scroll back and that's the third one and that's the fourth one it, it should be 13 of these and now let's hit escape line is still selected here and from the center let's click here and click here that's the middle one let's click here and here hit escape click back on line let's draw another line here here let's draw one from here to here and also hit escape again Let's draw another line from here to this point, then to that point, the escape point is small. Line is still selected. And let's draw these last two. Okay, now we can zoom a bit to you. So pushing the middle mouse button, or scrolling the middle mouse button away from your body, it zooms out, pulling it to you zooms in okay and control and middle mouse button and holding the middle mouse button that pans and if you just use a middle mouse button alone you rotate your geometry okay and also if you you hold shift and hold a middle mouse button and push away you can also zoom okay so if we go back to views and hit double click on bottom to go back to our view that we are working with. Now go back to structure and we are going to create our rectangle, our rectangular profile. So we need to navigate to prepare and under profiles, let's click on rectangle. This will now open a beam profile. Let's open the beam profiles by selecting the arrow. Let's select rectangle. Right click on rectangle and edit beam profile. Let's click on B. And let's change this from 0 0.01 to 0 0.06. And let's do the same for the edge because it's basically square. And we click here, then click here, just, just to double check that they both are. And then we can push the middle mouse button away from the body to see our actual profile. Okay. Now let's close the SYS tab by coming at the, on the bottom of our screen and close it. And let's navigate back to structure. 
and here let's open sketch in plane one open our sketch and these are our lines so we, we want to apply the newly created cross section to these lines which you should have 13 lines here so click on the first one hold shift so you can scroll down hold shift click on the last one therefore you select all the lines and let's go over to our make sure you are still in prepare and then go over to create with that we should actually have a new set of entities and this one should be called beams so we actually created our beams so now we can close the sketch and we can close the sketch in plane and let's open beams so we created these beams now let's add all our beams under one component and merge them together so let's go to design hit select here and then you select your first beam scroll down use the shift select the last one that way you selected all your beams right click and you say move to new component you can leave it name as component one and you can select component one and we are going to change the share topology and we're going to make that merge and now let's save our file let's go ahead and save our file and it, it's going to ask for a location so navigate to where you want to save it so navigate to where you want to save it create a new folder and let's call a folder word and trust if you want you can give it a space but i like to just join them together separate them with capital letters and open that folder and you can leave your your file as is as design one or you can just call it wt your choice and let's save our geometry to that folder and once we save our geometry let's close our geometry and now that we are back to the project schematic let's go ahead and double click on model to start mechanical and this is where we are going to set up our simulation so let's go ahead and double click on model mechanical is now ready for us to set up our simulation as you can see we can hardly ha see our geometry therefore and if yours is set to the isometric view let's navigate to display so if you're home let's come to display let's go to views and let's change the bottom and then let's go to color and change it to black so now we can see our geometry much clearer and now let's go to geometry in our outline so open geometry and let's select rectangular beam or beam rectangle and here if you have structural steel as your default go ahead and apply the double four by simply clicking on it okay and then go over to mesh and for your element size enter 10 meters and make sure that your 
units is set to metric meters kg newton etc okay let's select my share and then go to our ribbon select mesh and let's click generate let's go to statistics and we can see that we have 21 nodes and 13 elements let's now apply our boundary condition so let's right click on static structure and let's go to insert and we want to insert fixed support and we want to insert fixed support on the left side and the right side of our chest so make sure you have vertex selected so go here select vertex click on this side and use control so hold control and keyboard and click on this other vertex and hit apply now let's apply some forces so let's right click on static structure again insert and let's go to force let's define by components so you have vector and you have components so let's choose components for the z direction let's enter minus 90,000 okay now let's select the points where we're going to apply our forces forces so let's go to geometry make sure you have vertex selected and let's select this point use control on the keyboard hold it down and select these other two points and hit apply we could have went ahead and apply three different forces one here up 30,000 another here and another here therefore we would have had three forces here but it's the same as, as just applying one force and selecting the three areas and just input the total amount of force now let's retrieve our solutions let's right click on solution six insert deformation total in our solution ribbon let's hit solve you can also hit solve from home doesn't matter let's hit solve and here is our result for the total deformation let's right click on solution a6 once more let's insert our probe and that will be a force reaction probe let's choose fixed support and let's right click on solution and let's choose evaluate all results and if we click on force here is our reaction force and click on tabular data you have more information regarding that let's go back to the total deformation let's hit graph i'm going to pin it i'm going to make it a little bit smaller and then i'm going to go to zoom to fit it's already zoomed to fit so that's okay and let's hit play and this will demonstrate the way of how the trust beam is being affected and that concludes our simulation bye for now